Heat me these irons hot and look thou stand within the arras. When I strike my foot upon the bosom of the ground, rush forth and bind the boy you shall find me with fast to the chair. Be heedful, hence, and watch. I hope your warrant will bear out the deed. And cleanly scruples, fear not you. Look to it. Young lad, come forth. I have to say it with you. Good morrow, Hubert. Good morrow, little prince. As little prince, having so great a title, to be more princes, maybe. You are sad. Indeed, I be merry. As you're me. He thinks nobody should be sad but I. Yet I remember when I was in France, young gentlemen would be as sad as night only for wantonness. By my Christendom. So I ran the prison and kept sheep, I should be as merry as the day is long. And so I would be here, but that I doubt my uncle practices more harm to me. He is afraid of me and I of him. Is it my fault that I was Geoffrey's son? No, indeed it's not. And I would to heaven I were your son, so you would love me, Hubert. If I talk to him with his innocent prey till awake my mercy which lies dead, therefore I'll be sudden and dispatch. Are you sick, Hubert? You look pale today. In sooth, I would you were a little sick, that I might sit all night and watch with you. I warrant I love you more than you do me. His words do take possession of my bosom. Read here, young Arthur. Oh no, foolish ruin turning to spittiest torture out of door. I must be brief, lest resolution drop out mine eyes in tender, womanish tears. Can you not read it? Is it not fair writ? Too fairly, Hubert, for so foul effect. Must you with hot irons burn out both mine eyes? Young boy, I must. And will you? And I will. Have you the heart? When your head did but ache, I knit my handkerchief about your brows. Nay, you may think my love crafty love and call it cunning. Do. And if you will, if heaven be pleased that you must use me ill, why then you must. Will you put out mine eyes? These eyes that never did nor never shall so much as frown on you. I have sworn to do it, and with hot irons must I burn them out. Oh, but in this iron age would do it. The iron of itself, though heat red hot, approaching near these eyes, would drink my tears and quench his fiery indignation, even in the matter of mine innocence. Are you more stubborn hard than hammered iron? And if an angel should have come to me and told me Hubert should put out mine eyes, I would not have believed him. Don't tell me Hubert. Do as I bid you do. Oh, save me, Hubert, save me. My eyes are at him with the fierce looks of this bloody man. Place with the irons, I say, and bind him here. Alas, what need you be so boisterous rough? I will not struggle. I will stand stone still. For heaven's sake, Hubert, let me not be bound. Drive this man away, and I will sit as quiet as a lamb. Thrust but this man away, and I'll forgive you whatever torment you do put me to. Go stand with him. Let me alone with him. I'm best pleased to be from such a deed. <laughs> Alas, I then have chid away my friend. He hath a stern look, but a gentle heart. Let him come back that his compassion may give life to yours. Come, boy. Prepare yourself. Is there no remedy? None. But to lose your eyes. Oh, heaven, there were but a moat in yours. A grain of dust and gnat, a wandering hair. Any annoyance in that precious sense, then feeling what small things are boisterous, then your violent tempers need seem horrible. Is this your promise? Go to. Hold your tongue. Let me not hold my tongue. Let me not, Hubert. Or, oh, Hubert, if you will, cut out my tongue so I may keep my eyes. 
I'll spare mine eyes that are no use but to still look on you. So by my truth, the instrument is cold and would not harm me. I can heat it, boy! No one can sue for far as dead with grief. Being created for comfort to be used in undeserved extremes. See, ask yourself. There is no malice in this burning coal. The breath of heaven has blown his spirit out and strewed a pungent ashes on his head. But with my breath, I can revive it, boy! And if you do, you will but make it blush. You glow with shame of your proceedings, you but. Nay. It perchance will sparkle in your eyes, and like a dog that is compelled to fight, snatching his mask that doth tie him on. All things that you should use to do me wrong deny their office. Only you to let that mercy which fierce fire and iron extend. Creatures of note for mercy lack uses. to live. I will not touch thine eyes for all the treasure that thine uncle owes. Yet have I sworn, and I did purpose, boy, with this same very iron to burn them out. Oh, now you look like Hubert. All this while you were disguised. Peace no more, a Jew. Your uncle mustn't know but you are dead. I'll fill these docked spies with false reports and pretty child. Sleep doubtless and secure that Hubert for all the wealth of the world will not offend thee. Oh heaven, I thank you, Hubert. Silence no more! Go closely in with me. Much danger do I undergo for thee. <laughs> 